Today I'm going to do some experiments with some fireballs. So I took some igniters and epoxied them into some caps. I have some 4 ounce bottles and some 2 ounce bottles. And I took some 2FG powder and put about 2.5 ounces in one of these 4 ounce bottles and some 1FG powder and put it in the four ounce bottle in two and a half ounces and then I have this smaller bottle here which has about one and a half ounces of 2FG actually no these uh, these other two are more than two and a half like two and three quarters ounces maybe almost three ounces the idea being that I am going to use a fiberglass an old water softener tank uh, it's a 10 inch tank. I cut it to about 18 inches tall. I'm going to put this metal plate in the bottom of it. It's about an 8 inch plate just as a reinforcement for the bottom. I'll center that later. And then I'm going to ignite them with some gas. I've got some duct tape and I'm going to use duct tape to hold the bottle down to the metal plate. And then I'm going to put about one gallon of gas with the smaller charge, with the uh, one, uh, two and a half ounces, one and a half ounces, come on, one and a half ounces. And then with the, oh, probably three ounces of the other two. Now, the reason why I'm not going with one and a quarter ounce per gallon, oh, and I'm going to do one gallon of gas here and two gallons with each of these. The reason I'm not doing one and a quarter ounces, which is what I've read is the recommended amount, is because of the 10 inch tube. And I'm thinking with a 10 inch tube, I'm going to want to have a little bit more of a charge because there's more volume. Even though there's not more volume going up, there's more volume at the bottom, more distance. We'll see.